All right, it's Thursday morning. Got kind of some uh, something different today, something fun we're gonna go do. Me and my buddy Pete, and my other buddy Mike Mercurio. He's uh, the newest member of the Tornadoes Car Club. And uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pick up a couple historical cars. Unfortunately, we lost a gentleman named Paul Aldrich uh, several months back. And some of his estate is now just being settled. Uh, Paul was a huge, huge supporter of the, to the Tornadoes Car Club in general, but he was a big supporter of Northeast Vintage Drags. Uh, Paul recreated, so he made a recreation of the 400 Junior. Paul also made some additional recreations of dragsters and other hot rods that were uh, very well known and popular back in the day. And two of those cars were the Bannister Dragster and also the Excalibur. I forget the names of the gentleman that built the Excalibur, but the Bannister brothers built, uh, originally had built the Bannister Dragster. And Paul was able to find the original chassis and a lot of the parts that went into that car. Not only that car, the other Dragster as well. And we're heading out to go pick up those two cars today. So we're going to go pick up the Excalibur, which they're both flathead powered Dragsters. Uh, and we're hopefully gonna have those at Northeast Vintage Drags this year. If not running, then at least to be on display. But that right there is the motor that's gonna be in the Excalibur. And I know for a fact that motor runs because I've heard it run. I'm donating that motor to the Excalibur to try to get the Excalibur to this event this year. And what our plans are is to have both cars running down the drag strip to honor Paul Aldrich and who he was as a person, as a hot rodder, as a historian, as a supporter, and most importantly, as a friend. And we're planning on kicking off this year's event with those dragsters. Yeah, we'll get that T fired up, get it unloaded out of the trailer, get it tucked away for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna get up, meet up with Pete Flavin and Mike Mercurio, and we're gonna go pick up a couple cool New England historic hot rods, dragsters. I don't know that this tea is going to even start. Usually it does, but sometimes it's a little bit of a, of a struggle. north and heading up to somewhere I'm kind of on I don't even know mission of the lost let's call it today so today AT&T's phone service or phone system is down I have no internet I have no GPS I have no way to call my buddy Pete I have no way to text him or message him in any way through any social media so I have zero communication with anybody I've been to Paul's shop two times in my life. I don't know what town it's in. <laughs> so I know where he lived, what town he lived in. I don't know his street. I've been to his house once. <laughs> I don't know what Paul's shop is.
Yeah, look at he went in and cleaned all the ports up. He yeah, he did. Man. He told me he was going to sandblast the motor. He started, look at he started deburring the motor. I go, Paul, just put it in. <laughs> Last time I was here, he had a pile of iron, yeah. one of his junk boxes. He was looking for the right studs because the acorns weren't going to fit on some of the uh. holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, just the stuff, look at, I mean, he made this plate uh -huh. to mount. Oh, uh, yeah, so it wasn't on the back of the block. Look at well, the, look at the timing mark. Fucking drop blood. <laughs> Somebody said someone gave him that. Oh yeah. All right, Mike, you ready? Yeah. Jesus. Oh, I'm in the fog here. You are. You're looking at all the cool shots. I just love this. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. You got to move your truck now. Don't make me. All right. Is anything going to the bed though? Uh, we got some of that stuff on the ground, but we can get that later. We can get the. All right. So your dad's been back to you. So, yeah. It's fucking hard. It's really amazing. I know. I told Paul. Probably, uh, yeah, I should have used these. He would have won the war. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 50 cal on the side. <laughs> he would have won. I believe how hard this thing is. Yeah. Also, the end of the Ready? Oh, yeah. It's obviously a 4 9 with strange axles. Yeah. I can tell. Keep going, full man. race. Full race. Good. Yeah, I'm going to push it right out. Alright, when we get out there, shut the camera off because we're gonna hug you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay or nothing. You're gonna have to fight Mike for a hug. I need a moment. <laughs> okay, now we can tip it. Easy. Wait, oh, I, I happen to have my muscle shirt in the truck. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my cutout jeans. Where's my halo? <laughs> Hold on, let me get my, my, my cutout jeans. Yeah, I'm going to get my Richard Simmons shorts. Yeah, all, all right, so Ready? I'm thinking. Yeah. Are we going to be able to stop this stuff? No. The way to the motor? No. This is kind of going to run all the way to the motor. I don't know. Why do I have to have a chance part. here? You don't have to. Watch yourself behind your feet. Right. Hold on. Come down nice and slow. We're good. Nice. Hold on. Okay. Nice and slow. Okay. Nice and slow. 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 Nice Whatever one I fit in first. <laughs> Charles Lindbergh, shoot. <laughs> Mike, sit in it. Pete, I might not get out. I might go all the way to Mike's house in this thing. <laughs> My foot up and everything, just doing making boom boom noises. Well, I'll get it. I think I'm going to cry. It's the most beautiful thing. I thought my daughter was. <laughs> I do love them both.
Do oh you, my God, Pete. Do you nuts feel vulnerable? They, I feel like a light <laughs> vibration and I'm not moving. He's got three kids. He doesn't need his nuts anymore. Oh, I meant to put those away a long time ago. The damage has done. Wow, this is sick. Wow. Oh my God. All right, my turn, Mike. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, right? <laughs> Look at the rear end. It's welded right to the torque tubes. That's what I was just saying. So I just want you guys to know that these cars are going to be racing in California, too. I'm bringing them out to the RPM Nationals. I'll be up to uh, Austin with this. Again. Oh, yeah. so, so. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut that leg off. <laughs> oh. you got to bring them out to California. Grab his cuff and pull it up. Oh. You can do it. Huh? And then, you, and then the brake hits your kneecap. Yeah, yeah this doesn't look yeah. very so NHRA certified. So an eighth certified. mile car goes a quarter because you oh, can't stop. Is this NHRA certified? No. Yes. You have to cut it apart to get me out. <laughs> 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 Made one pass. Who's going to get you out? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to bring that crane over there with the chain fall. Definitely have to make my will before I take this down the strip. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You know what I was cool. thinking would be cool? Get a Get a Really I built wool face helmet with the bubble on yes. it and have somebody here with the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mike, you gotta sit in this thing. Oh, look at this. Oh, God, this is so badass. Push me in, he said. Push me in the trailer. <laughs> Push me in, he said. Push me in the trailer. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> here we go. Have a seat, Mike. I need a helmet. Where's my fire suit? Here's my. Wow. God, that's so cool. That canvassing is pretty comfortable. I know. I love the scatter shield. Yeah. Whoa. The scatter shield to protect your onions. Right, yeah. Mike? Your onions. No shit. <laughs> I hate to say it, but he's you the fit shoulder the best. He's All right, the best we're going player. in. Blip, 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 blip. We're probably good to know. <laughs> I think we're good right there. Yeah, I think so too. Put that in gear so we don't roll. Are there any gears in this thing? No, no, that's right. Yeah, hey, ho. Oh. That was Nick. I know. <laughs> I know it was Nick. Double Nick. fisted, too. You quit. Oh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. center of gravity and then as we do it we'll walk up the wishbones and we'll get it down look at the fucking front axle it's all cut open welded in between oh that's some sketchy shit wow. all right you ready race yeah. race stuff one two three I don't know where I can I, know. I should have had you here. <laughs> Who's the strongest? I'm definitely last okay. on that one. Good. We just walk it back. Okay. No, we walk go. it back. Just like this. Okay, don't roll. I think we're good. We're it's good. The other side rolling. We're good. Yeah, but it's going to go under the bench. We're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Good? Yeah, right when you said let it go, I said I agree. No. I think my ball just went in my throat. Yeah. No, it's in my throat. Did I touch your pride? Yeah, but I, you know, I was going to say it I'm like, you know what, it's better than my wife. All right, this one I can no. fit in. <laughs> we are family, we're tornadoes. So, oh, man. What stays in the tornadoes, you know, it's yeah, like, happens what happens What happens stays, <laughs> right, exactly. This guy. I can see it now. If you don't delete that, edit that, right? You got everybody in slow mode. Did he just grab that? <laughs> All right, Jack. I it. I well, I'm saying I should have been Chinese because it's only two two inches long anyway. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, she found it. Wow. <laughs> but he was gentle, and uh, he was not going to tell you. right in blind. <laughs> Many years of practice. Right? <laughs> It's <laughs> 
Were the banishers a foot and a half tall? I think everybody was small. Look at this. Well, I can. still got a radiator. Look at this. This is so pretty. Yeah. All right, so we need a massive cylinder. Uh, kind of, Mitch. Look at the pedal that drilled out to go on it. He, um, <clears throat> he recreated the crudeness, too, that the other one was built in, you know, like wow. right down to the wire. Right down to the wire. Push those off. <laughs> Yeah, but Yeah, quarter elliptics. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that motor. I can't remember what's what. This one's got Yes, there's nothing in this. The only thing in it is a crank. Really? Yeah. There's not even a flywheel. So, that's a possible that motor. That's empty too, he said. Both yeah. transmissions are empty. Tell you on these don't even need the motor around. So now this has less motor out. You did. That's the motor that he was rebuilding. And he said it was all done. The only thing he needed was the cam. Look at that. Was still that heavy? What? <clears throat> what? Alright, let me get my rig over here. This is quite the setup here. Oh, God. You're never going to find one of them. I, I honestly, I've never seen one like that. Oh, that's the dis the distributor? Yeah, isn't he that amazing? said he got that down in Carlisle, 1989. Really? Paid $600 for it. Yep. Wow. Yep. That was a lot of money back then, too. It certainly yeah. was. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but he always stepped up on it when he knew what yeah. he was buying. That's you know, so he, awesome. When everybody else... Didn't know. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. In 1989. Knowing what you were looking for yeah, and actually exactly. finding it. That's probably five grand now. Today. Yep. Wow. Yep. If you could find one. Yep. Yeah, right. I love yep. the three Here we go. Groove. We're going to go with the oh, There you go. <laughs> Feel like a cigarette. Yeah. Good man. Good man. Do that front axle. He'd have fit better in this one, though. I'll fit better. What I'll do is I'll take that piece of aluminum on the seat back, and I'll put it in the back side of the tube, and it'll give me like another four inches, and that's kind of what I need. You read about me in the fucking obituaries. In this one, Mike? Yeah, uh, like do it. Man. You're going to steer it in. Oh, I am? I'm the only one that can fit? Right now, you are. <laughs> A few modifications. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. You just saws all the way from driving it, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're all right. Good. We're good? Yep. All right. Now, this one, I don't know if it's going to tag the bottom of that. Mm. Let's see. Okay, we get the jack right there though. It's only like an inch, literally. Yeah. So I think oh. we can lift the back, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, Don's got the right oh. idea. Let's back up a little bit. Put it under the wheel. Okay. You want to try? Go up a little further. What hit the way. oil pan? No. Uh, the previous no. Previous rod mounts. Yeah. Oh. Oh, now it's this side, side. side. <laughs> All right. Huh. Who'd have thought? I know. Ball size. Boy, it had rear shocks on it. I'm surprised. That's for comfort down the return road. Huh. You probably never know they were there. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's got quarter ellipticals on it, too. I never noticed that. You're going to keep noticing and noticing oh, and it's, noticing. It'd be endless. Yep. Absolutely. Amazing. Jeez. You 
might have a serious problem. You're the only one that can fit in this guy. No, no, no. We're well, well, get... uh, it's a good problem, Don. Good. <laughs> yeah, I heard him. <laughs> Like I said, just need a fire suit and a helmet. Ready to go. Yeah. Huh? Pull, the, pull the truck up about three feet and you'll be in good shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. Get my fat ass out of it, maybe. Right, it. Okay. Yeah. Came to work, not just sit around. <laughs> but you're the boss. <laughs> Honestly, we could probably in the front, pick up down the front that front wheel. Yeah, go. Yeah, go, go back. Okay. Ah, yeah. <coughs> Scatter oh, shield big time. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we got that up there. So now take the up. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Hold on. It's it's right there. Uh, take that two by. Now put it under here. Dude, look at the throttle linkage. Look at, just come on. But it comes down, goes up. Look at it, goes to a bell crank, sideways to another bell crank. Talk about danger. Holy shit, car, I know. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gonna have to do some like. Unreal. Unreal. Going on everyone, we're on our way back, picked up a couple of cars plus a little sprint car, got those two dragsters, I actually bought a dropped axle from Paul's estate. We're going to come back up in another week or so and pick up a few other things. Uh, there was some parts missing from the dragsters that we grabbed and uh, yeah so they're going to give a uh, Gonna give them a little bit of time to go through everything in the shop and hopefully try to find the pieces that were missing from the cars so pete flavin bought these cars from paul's estate 
and um, we're hoping to have these cars running, driving, and put together for Northeast Vintage Drags. So if you guys weren't planning on going, and maybe uh, this would be a little bit of a persuader to get you guys up there to check out some dragsters that used to run back in the day at Sanford Drags up in the 1950, in the 1950s and early 1960s. So really, really cool. We'll do, a, do some overview videos. I have the Excalibur in my trailer and Pete has the Bannister Dragster on the trailer in front of me. So the Excalibur is coming home with me. So we'll be able to do a little bit of an overview on that car itself. I believe there are some write-ups in some magazines from not long ago. Uh, so maybe we can get our hands on one of those magazines and get some more of the detailed information on this car. So really cool.